What's going on guys? I'm Mohamed Al-Bailey. In this lab, I'm going to cover option uh, 82 concept. Uh, what is option 82? Failed. Option 82 provides us additional security features. Option 82 consists of two sub-option, circuit ID and remote ID. Circuit ID includes VLAN module and port number. Remote ID includes MAC address of switch. Uh, we must configure the HP snooping uh, for enabling uh, option 82. If option uh, if the HP snooping enabled on this switch, uh, switch will insert option 82. Uh, to DHCP messages originated from clients. Uh, for example, uh, PC1 sends out a DHCP discover message, and this message. Uh, Access layer 1 switch will insert option 82 field uh, into this message. Uh, and will forward it to a relay. This relay. And relay. Uh, will convert uh, will translate broadcast this broadcast message to unicast message and it will uh, will forward it to the HP server and vice versa by default router uh, doesn't uh, trans doesn't transmit uh, both between other subnets. Uh, okay. Also, the HP relay will change gateway IP address field. Uh, will specify uh, this relay will specify this address. Uh, or configure it, uh, we must type IP helper address command and we must specify the HP server here. Uh, okay. By default, uh, if if the HP message contain option 82 and as well as uh, gateway IP address uh, with quad zero uh, value, in this case relay will drop it, but uh, we can specify IP DHP relay information trust all command. In this case, a relay will accept uh, messages uh, contain uh, gateway IP address equal quad zero. Okay. Uh, in this lab, uh, as you can see, uh, PC1, PC2, and relay. Uh, reside 
in the same broadcast domain uh, VLAN 1 uh, I will uh, specify this range uh, to PCs uh, plugged in uh, access layer 1 and I will specify this IP range to PCs uh, uh, plugged in access layer 2 as you can see this IP range uh, is from, uh, from uh, this subnet uh, for this uh, lab uh, for this case uh, I will use uh, DHP will process uh, option 82 uh, field and will assign uh, appropriate IP addresses to switches uh, to hosts uh, DHP server uh, uh, we'll look at a remote ID field sub option 2 uh, we can see by typing show IPDHP snooping command as you can see circuit ID uh, contain from uh, VLAN module on port remote ID includes only a uh, MAC address of switch uh, we, this bit server uh, will use remote ID or sub option 2 uh, ok uh, let's shut down this uh, PCs and let's jump out uh, DHP server let's build this scope uh, from scratch okay uh, I will create new scope Uh, for example, let's name it office Uh, I don't configure exclusion for this scope I will specify uh, one minute for least time okay let's specify gateway IP address Pay attention that uh, this is uh, global global policies uh, reside this uh, folder, but individual uh, policies also exists in this scope. Uh, impact those. Impact of uh, these policies will uh, will impact uh, all scopes, but this only uh, will impact uh, only this scope. Uh, let's create a policy for access layer one switch. Uh, relay 
agent information remote ID uh, let's look at remote ID of access layer 1 GC uh, triple zero three hundred okay prefix uh, why I check this uh, checkbox uh, uh, specify this checkbox because uh, this value will doesn't match with remote ID because uh, as you can see MAC address and before MAC address uh, four characters also exist uh, this wildcard mask uh, will match uh, any characters uh, mean uh, okay Next, uh, ten zero zero one hundred. Zero zero. Okay, next default router. Let's create a policy for access layer to switch. Let's specify remote ID of access layer two. Pull zero five hundred. Let's configure same thing here. Next, I will specify this uh, range. Ten zero zero two hundred. Ten. Two hundred ten. Next, default router uh, will be same. Finish. Okay, configuration is ready. Let's run PC1 and PC2. Let's look at capture. Okay, DHP discover offer request acknowledgement. Uh, as you can see, PC1 uh, 100 assigned to PC1 and 200 assigned to PC2. Based on uh, remote ID, based on option 82. Uh, 
I hope this has been informative for you. Uh, thanks for viewing. Uh, thanks again.